Hi, this is Robin Sampson with BibleJournalLove.com and HeartOfWisdom.com. In this quick video, I will show those who are new to digital files what you need to know about how to open files and get them into your computer and then open them with some type of imaging software like Photoshop Elements. If you purchase anything from my Etsy shop, it will be in one of these file formats, either PDF for printables, PNGs, JPEGs, PSD, or a TIFF file. Those are all the different file formats, and then a zip is the holder that holds the different file formats when I send it to you. So we're going to talk about each one of these briefly. Whenever you see a file that ends with PDF, that means it's a PDF file, short for Portable Document Format Files. It's one of the most commonly used files today. Any files that you purchase in my shop that says printable will more than likely be a PDF file. PNG and JPEGs are probably the most common known files. Most digital kits include both PNG and JPEGs. Papers, which are 12 inches by 12 inches, are extremely large files, so they are supplied as JPEGs instead of PNG files because they are compressed. But you still don't lose any quality. PNG files, however, have a transparent backgrounds and they're much bigger. So the elements in a, in a kit will be a PNG, so you can have the transparent background. You can easily see the difference. The other camper has a white background. Elements such as ribbons, bows, frames, stitching, flowers, anything that you would see in a layout would be a PNG file. Now's the time you need to listen up because I'm going to tell you something very important. You need to know the difference between a digital kit and a printable kit. In my Etsy shop, I sell planner kits which are only printable and only available in PDF. I sell digital scrapbook kits that are only digital. They only contain JPEGs and PNGs. Now the new Bible journaling kits include both printable and digital. So they will have the PNG elements with the transparent backgrounds, JPEG papers, and printable. Here I'll show you an example. This is a Sarah digital scrapbook kit. The description says digital scrapbook kit, and that means it's a traditional kit, and it includes papers, which are 12 by 12 JPEGs, and elements which are ping files and transparent. Now I use digital scrapbook kits a lot to make Bible journaling pages, but they were created for digital scrapbooking so they don't include things like Bible verses. And that brings us to the file type PSD and TIF. PSD is a file that's layered image file used in Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Photoshop Elements. Um, on the computer, Photoshop and Photoshop Elements can open both of these type files. If you're on the iPad Pro, Affinity Photo, which I have a lot to talk about later and you'll have a video on that soon, Photoshop Sketch and Procreate only with iOS 10 can also open PSD and TIF files. Layered files can be huge and the reason that I prefer TIF over PSD is because they get so big and TIF saves some room. So when I usually start a project I save it as a TIF file which means all the layers are there. What's important to you is if you open a PSD file, especially a PSD template like my Bible file, you need to immediately rename it and save the original so that you don't lose layers. If you save it as a JPEG, you're going to lose all the layers. It flattens it out. Or if you save it as a PDF. So keep your PSD, either a PSD or a TIF, unless you don't mind losing your layers. One more tip I'd like to give you on files that will save you a lot of time and maybe some heartache is on naming files. It is critical to use a naming convention. A file naming convention is a framework for naming your files in a way that will help you remember 
where they are. And especially with Bible journaling digitally, I've I found that I have hundreds of files now, and I just have a hard time finding them if I didn't name them correctly. But fortunately, I've been this way before, and I knew to do it. So I named all mine with the the uh, the naming convention that I have here. Bible journaling digitally is B J D. Then I underscore, and then I take a few words that um, from the verse, like for God so loved and then underscore, and then the name of the verse, uh, John 3.16, would be John 3.16, and then an underscore, and then I, I put the name of the kit. Now, you don't have to do it like this. You can do it anything that makes sense to you, but I think it's real important that you, like if you wanted to find all your Bible journaling pages at one time, you know that you can search for BJD, and all of them will pop up, or if you wanted to see what you've done in John before, you know, you can type in John. So I also put the name of the colors on the end because that helps me in another file that I have to sort them by color. So it's up to you how to do it, but decide on some kind of a naming convention that you'll have from now. You know, if you've been doing this for a couple years and you have hundreds and hundreds of files and you want to send a certain one to a friend that needs encouragement, you'll know where to go to get it. Here's another example of uh, one from the Hallelujah Kit. The uh, verses, for God alone, O oh my soul, wait in silence, for my hope is from him. So I put BJD for Bible journaling digitally, wait in silence, then underscore Psalm 62.5. I included the name of the kit, hallelujah. For me, I need that because I need to find things I did by kit. And then the colors just really helps. The last thing we will go over is not a file, but a holder of files is a zip file. Zip is a way to compress all the files. Instead of me sending you 50 elements and 12 papers, I send you a zip file with all of those things in it. And that makes it a lot easier for you to get, for you to download. Almost all computers have an unzipper in them, so all you have to do is click or double click on a zip file to open it. When you download, it'll go into your download folder, so you go to your download folder click or double click to open the file. Now if you click, double click or click and do not get it open then you need to download something like 7-Zip and that's a free program that you can install on your computer. If you purchase my kits from Etsy you need to understand that Etsy has a file size limitation so I am not allowed to upload files over 20 megabytes. So if you order from me you will have um, most printables will be in your Etsy download folder, but if the file is over 20 megabytes, then you'll get something from me, a link or an email that will either you'll open a link right from Etsy or you'll get an email from me giving you the link to Dropbox to open the file there. Now I'm going to quickly take you through downloading and opening a file and how to get it into your imaging software. So this is Amazing Grace Bible Journal Kit. It's much too big to store on Etsy. You'll get a PDF. You open the PDF and it says click here to download the file. Then it will take you. Here's the Amazing Grace printable PDFs. So you can look through there. If you click those on, you can see them in Dropbox. And then there's also the digital. Here I'm clicking on another PDF just so you can see the page in Dropbox. Now you cannot preview zip files. The zip files uh, will not appear because they won't open. So that if you want a zip file, you click on the side of the file or click on the file itself to download it and then click download and then the downloads will automatically go into they will, if you click more than one, several will zip themselves and you'll get the, the whole thing in one zip. So here I clicked it on, I double clicked it and it opened it up into several zips. Now I'm opening all those zips and that will open each one. And now you have all the zip files and here's the word elements and I think I go through a few of these real quick so you can see. Uh, depending on if you're using a Mac or a PC, how it'll look on your computer and how you have your settings, if they show as a list or as an icon view. So there's the papers. 
Now it's real easy to open these in Photoshop Elements or Photoshop by just right clicking and saying open in and then choose the program you want to open that in. But I'm going to show you a couple of different ways here. Here were three more zips that were in another folder because it was quite large. Painted overlays. So I'm going to right click on this and open with Photoshop. And here we are in Photoshop. And now what I'm going to do is show you how to drag and drop from your file folders. So you're back in your download area. Then you open on the file that you want with the elements. And here we're in the painted overlays. And I'm just going to drag and drop and it's ready to go. And it's that simple. Once somebody shows you how to do it, it's that simple. And the little click, click, clicking you hear is my dog outside my door because he wants to come in with mommy. And if you didn't hear the little click, click, clicking, he'd be by my side purring. I have to have my son take him to the other room so I can record this video. So I just dragged and dropped a few pictures in there just so you can see how easy it is to do it this way. There are a couple other ways that you can open the files and I'm going to show you those in one second. Here's a, I'm going to drag and drop the little camper in there and throw a drop shadow on it because I can't stand to see it without a drop shadow. So you can see better what it looks like. And here then you just grab the type tool to add text to this layer. This adds a new layer and then you can write your text on that. Now I have a whole video on layers um, that's upcoming so this we're going to stay here on this video just on opening and getting our elements into the imaging program. So here is another way to open it. Go to your folder where the elements are, right click on it and say open with Photoshop or Photoshop elements and that pops it right in there and now you can you can move, you can drag and drop that to another page and now you can open by going file open then go to your download section find the file that you want look at uh, I changed it to where I can see the images easier and open the elements that way or open your papers, anything you can open that way by going File, Open. Now I'm opening a new space so I can show you how to bring an image in to another area. So you go File, Place, Embed, and that then you can go and find what whatever file it is that you want to bring in. Under your Downloads, then go to the Elements, find the file you want, and click OK, and there it is. Now let's do the same thing with the Bible Open, the Bible Template. We'll put a page, just drag and drop the page right onto the Bible. And I'm going to apply a clipping mask, go to the layers, and then right click and apply clipping mask to clip it to the page. And open the element. Now just resize that by grabbing the corner of the bounding box and pull that in to resize it. So this was just a real quick video um, to show you how to open files, the difference between files, and I hope it helps you some. Especially when you're shopping, make sure that before you purchase anything that you read the description because we tell you what's in there. You just need to read it to make sure you don't make a mistake and it takes um, saves us both some time and trouble if you get what you want the first time. So I hope this helps you. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm there at the Facebook group, ready to answer anything you need. Bye-bye.